Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we get to meet six foot five Can Am Riker Rally rider David for the first time. We get to hear a little bit from him about what it's like being a big old guy riding on a Can Am Riker. On top of that, a little ride video. We got Ryan with this on his Can Am 600, me on my 600, and the new rider David on his rally. We end up going to a little fuel up spot at the QT and run into some spider riders. And then we get to meet this little gem here. And that's an interceptor, like a police interceptor model of a Can Am spider. So really cool getting to see the style and stuff on these spiders. We don't get to see a whole lot of them. So it was real cool and a crazy coincidence running into them. Uh, on top of that, uh, we get some cool rings sent from us from Rad Racing, followed by an unfortunate event of me getting the dreaded VSS fault error. Thermos Moto. Yo, dog. Hell yeah. What was your name again? David. David? Yeah. David. Can you call us? <laughs> How you like riding the rally being super hella tall? I like it. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Oh boy, it was like he ran it one uh a couple weekends ago and his knees are like Oh yeah, I, I always hit my elbows. With your knees? Yeah, yeah. I kinda I I adjust a little bit. It's you know, I'm six foot five man. So six five. Yeah. Well, you know, that's a question a lot of people ask. People are like, you know, I'm tall, yeah. and uh, yeah. would one of these work? And you're saying the rally, you get through. You can get through, for sure, yeah. Um, uh, if you hunch, you know, over sometimes, it'll, you'll, it's a little uncomfortable, but most of the time, I'm fine. I like it. What about with the uh, handlebars? You ever think that maybe you'd want to change it up? Well, really, you want it further away, don't you? Would you be in taller? Yeah. Good to see you. How you doing? Hey, man. You made it. Isn't that wild, man? There's like a lot of little changes. Uh, Everything is stuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Having the uh, protector there. I thought that was interesting. Yeah, it's just crazy because, like, I've always said this and stuff before. Like, everything that we do to it is, like, should be stock. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's yeah. like putting a grill on to protect my radiator that doesn't cost anything should be stock putting something in front i know this isn't like 100 percent full protection but it's something yeah. it's that they recognize that it needs to be so i had to buy aluminum one you know or like the shocks yeah so with the rally you get the max mount yeah. and they put this on there too right yeah i mean i was thinking about getting a second seat for it. yeah i think i I mean, I was never really trying to get a second seat, but I've always been trying to look for something for comfort on mine. And they just, Splima just came out with that double comfort seat. Oh, yeah. So it's all like one piece. And then you also sit like so much higher. Like it's like, it's like right here. And that's actually what I'm looking for. And then I'll have to, I'll have to get the max mount because it goes on the max mount. But opposed to having, you know, the setup that they've had, like the one Kevin has is, max mount then you get a second seat yeah. and then it's got the back thing you know what I mean this is all once you have the max mount it's all one piece so on the topic of uh seats and comfort and your height what would it be like for you to sit higher is that a bad thing or a good thing so like your legs would be bunched up more maybe And you can see like pretty close and when, when I'm going faster I kind of hunch over like that and you can see like yeah 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 touch my elbow. so I kind of bring my legs in and like I kind of hug the bike but yeah most of the time I'm just like this and I don't it's fine but if I'm like hunched over you know I gotta bring my legs in yeah 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 it all works out when you get on it it seems like when you're standing on on top of it, it's all like, how do you get on that thing? Yeah. And then he does, and it's, it works. Nice. Oh, did you see the Steven Stinchkeffen? Oh, man. Cool, huh? Dude, that looks like it comes like that. Yeah. Oh. He did a good job. And he covered up my scratches, which is my whole, the whole reason I wanted it. 
Nice. Get rid of those scratches. Wow. And then once he did those, he said he would, he would do more. In black, he, he said he, he would probably do black on black for the whole thing. Oh. He'd do the whole damn right there. Matching yeah. that style. It's tight because. I think it came out good. At first look, it still looks like a black, just all black Riker, and then when you look at it, you see that it's got that, that something going on. Yeah, doing um gloss black on flat, that's tight, dude. Pretty cool. You know I like all the black on black. Hell yeah. You did a good job. You just painted it by hand. Pin stripe. Nice. He does tattoo work most of the time. Well, this, I know this is like a different type of flat than the rest of it. I wonder how it would show up on everything else. Exactly, yeah. But he said he'd do it. I mean, it would still look tight. He said he'd do this part outside, like he said, you know. I wonder if the uh, hood accent, that's, no, because they don't make that. Yeah, just in a hood accent. this carbon black, it's the epic hood, which is like, I want to say 250. Oh, so the whole, you have to get the whole hood for it to the do that? hood that looks like this, and you just pop this one off, and there's no hole here and no hole here. I thought it was, there's no V. Oh, no, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's no hole here, no hole here. It still looks like the eyes and no, like to me it looks like. Yeah. But we'll just go down 29 and we'll stop at the QT. I think it's going to be on the right, but I'll signal or whatever. You know, Kevin got me turned on the QT because of the free air. The free air. <laughs> That's something free air, Kevin would say. So does yours do that? That red wheel back exhaust thing? Oh, yeah. See the up? No. Can you see that? That's so weird. Yours is a 2020? What is that? Oh, we don't know. <laughs> it comes up a lot. The one that my homeboy Brian rented uh, a couple weekends ago, uh, it was a rally. I think it was a 2020, and it was having it. Not that bad, but you can look in the exhaust and see it. He probably cleaned it, too, probably before we picked it up. Oh, yeah. You got it. Yeah, well, that's how he had it. Uh, the guy we rented it from, he had it just like you on his rallies, but it wasn't all on the wheel. His was just like... It, and, and I just washed that. Dude, it's covered. Also, I just saw something on your back there. Uh oh, what? You like Naruto? Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. I saw that on your head. I'm like, what is that? Yeah, it's yeah. from Sengon, bro. Yeah. yeah. Cool. OG, uh, how old are you? 27. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Who you? Uh, who do you ride with? Nobody. I have a friend that has a trial. Uh -huh. Motorcycle, but I, you know, me and him just chill and ride together. Um, he's a friend or someone you met through bikes? No, he's a friend. I've oh, forever. dude, we've learned that that's that's like the key. Not knocking people we ride with that weren't friends before bikes, but uh, yeah. riding with friends yeah. that happen to have bike. You know what I mean? That's he's like, yeah, yeah, friends. Friends are the best. Friends and then friends that have other friends, they make them pretty much friends where everyone can communicate honestly, you know what I mean? And be like, you know, hey, let's stop. And like, like if you were like, hey, man, I want to stop right here, we'd just be like, whoop. Not like, well, we'll just go on ahead. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's a lot of people that wouldn't just stop. Yeah, see, that's a group riding. We've learned that group riding is not what's up. Riding with like your legit crew friends, you know what I mean? That's That's been fun. Oh, those are the stock lights even, man. We gotta get him hooked up. Oh, yeah, right? Dang it. That's number one. Alright, what? Who, who else out there? Who else Can-Am Riker owners have those yellow stock headlights still on your Riker? Who, who has all this other stuff done and all these mods and accessories like wraps or paint or dip or specialty $250 panels but still have those super dull yellow headlights on there. I'm going to put you on blast on there cuz it's actually not that crazy of a mod and it's a really uh it's a it's not so bad one to do by yourself. It's not that expensive, but 
major improvement if you do ride at night and you ride down roads like the ones we're riding on right now uh where they're just almost like county roads with a lot of stuff but look at this cat dude i mean he doesn't look bad you can tell he's a lot taller uh than most so you can see just in comparison to ryan there because ryan's not short i want to say he's six one uh, or maybe a little bit a little bit more than that what the he was on e. Oh yeah, well I was like, I thought I had more gas, and then I was like, well this QT doesn't come up, we gotta pull over somewhere. <laughs> His, uh, you know, the actual fuel light didn't come on, so that's when you really gotta start worrying. Hey, and he's the only one with the max amount, so we couldn't even have given him a piggyback. So for this day, it was just a crazy coincidence to run into these spiders. Ryan was like, hey, there's like 10 spiders that park behind us. Like, no way. Let's go over there for a little bit and chat with them before we go ride. Hey, how's it going? Good. How you doing? Where are you guys riding at? Uh, I don't know because our ride cap's not here yet. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. the meetup here? here? About four other people. We just got here. Oh, nice. Where are you guys at? Where's this Georgetown right here? Oh, okay. I think you've heard of that, dude. Nice. How do you like those? Uh, well, I came from, I had a motorcycle at one point when I was a lot younger, and uh, I just didn't have fun on it. And then now having three wheels, I like cars and stuff, you know? Yeah. And I know these are definitely closer to that. This is my wife's bike. We started out riding that one, and right now made me a deal on this one. I just couldn't pass up. Dude, he's... About well, this is the, this is the police version. Got the four lights on it. Oh no, really? Yeah. yeah there's a like in Canada or something or some other country they use them as police cars. Yeah, right? there there's several there's several cities in the states. There's oh really? Like Florida, California, <laughs> in the city, big cities because they're easier to get in and around. How do these run right now? Just white? They disable them. Oh. The, the F3P, which is this model, is exclusive to police department. The general public can't buy it, but they oh. bought them on spec, hoping to sell them to the Georgetown dealership, and they uh, they passed they passed on the deal. The police bike. Like I said, they offered me a deal that I just couldn't turn down. Oh, you got it on the so all this yeah. is part of it. Yeah, all this is all exclusive to the police bike. <laughs> wow. We ride all over. Oklahoma on these things, Arkansas, we did a rally, yeah, all these lights, they're all good. So what do you guys think about the police interceptor spider model? That is wild. I knew they existed in some countries, but I know you can get your, your hands on them in, in Texas over here, but I like the hard bags with the lights on them. And I'm not saying I get those lights going to like pull people over or anything or have them even blue and red, but really just anything. You got to have those lights going, man. I'd figure out a way uh, to do it because that would be, you know, pretty sweet to have it parked up and have the lights running on it and, and kind of push it that way. Uh, it looked cool at bike shows and all that. But these were pretty cool cats. Um, it was cool, like I said, fortunate for us to catch them before they rode off but they're under the u.s spider riders and i think they're just called texas spider riders so um didn't know they existed and that was sweet um perfect to start our ride and we just kind of just do our regular ride uh in the nice little scenery we have here of going between i want to say at that point we're just in liberty hill and we're just going from liberty hill to marble falls and there's like three different legs that we normally take and this is just one of them. Uh, I want to say this one is the not as cool one. The one that uh, I took with Kevin in a couple videos before this, which was still a long time ago. Because this, this video was um, done when it was a little bit cooler out too. But everyone was having fun. You can see the other bikes out there. But um, really just getting um, the video out to, to show you about tall riders. Um, I've been asked, it hasn't been in a while that I've asked about tall riders, but we just haven't run across them. I mean, Brian, uh, a.k.a. Grandpa, you know, he's rented that that Riker rally a couple of times, but, you know, he's not six foot five. What do you think? What do you think about the ride? That white Chevy, man, with the 
pissed me off, dude. There was like two turnouts too, and they never took them. And I was all like, all right, this turnout, they're gonna turn out, and we gotta be like, boom. Period. They never did. We were just like, yeah. kill this. Red racing rings. Let's see what we got. I've seen the pictures, and they look cool. <laughs> what was this? Not bad. Do you have some Troy egg? Ooh, I like the hot pink. It's red. It's racing. It's definitely... <laughs> hot pink is definitely in the colors of red, and so is... Yeah, that's like Saved by the Bell. <laughs> Max's Diner. Hey, we pretty much just ate at Max's Diner. Whatever. Yeah, Stickers. You can't get more red than holographic. Right. Too on top of that. Hell yeah. And then the ring itself. Oh man. That red matches this red Chiquita banana. It does. Because we are red. That's that's why we're working with these guys. Silicone rings that look like tires. Like record tires. Oh man. Wow. So these are the different colors here. What's your new David? Which one are you trying to do? Uh, the green is my favorite color. So it's this one. That's like a green. Whoa. Uh, the fit? Yeah. Nice. Wow. What about you, Ryan? What are we doing here? Oh, boy, they're all really cool. I mean, they're all rad. Uh, I'd probably do the black one. Do it. Unless you called that one. Nope. That's the most. I got a black leather jacket. That's the most tire, tire one. It's like, oh, it just says rad racing on the side of it, like a like tire letters with the tread. And that's a... Uh, I don't even, wouldn't even say that's a rally wheel. That's an ace wheel, dude. One of us supposed to get on a knee or yeah. something? No, it's not worth <laughs> it. has the sizes inside. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, even 12. In, yeah, even in this. These are size 12. Boy, that even said like rad racing in here. Rad racing. And then they also have tire letters on the side here. I want to know. Wow. Nice. That's legit. I feel like it's much harder. Yeah. I'll do one here. Here, you should do rad, dude. No, you gotta go rad. I'm gonna do double. Here. Double yeah, dog. Just kidding. Go ahead, put it on. Put it, put it on. <laughs> I get punched so much harder. Oh, they didn't say that on the bag. Nice. Oh, there it is. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> yeah, dog. A rad racing ring. That's gonna look cool. On the Riker. A big shout out to Rad Racing Rings for sending those to us. Uh, it definitely made the day even cooler. It was the perfect time to open them up and uh, and spread them out with the crew. Uh, even with all of that, the day kind of ends in a buzzkill of what I mentioned earlier. That VSS Vault Air I get on my Riker 600. Limp mode, what? Well, let me let it wait for a second and then start it. Yeah, I was... What What did I do? No, I was just going and then I noticed it was going slow. It went in limp mode. And then I tried to go some more and then it would only go 40. And then it was just blinking the uh, check engine light. Yeah. What the hell could it be? I'm gonna turn it off for a second and then start it back up again. No, it still says it. There was a thing where it like, the right wheel did like a wobble thing, uh, going on certain turns. Until I got those new, uh, Elkas. But, it'll do it sometimes, but not like it used to. Maybe it finally gave up. So I hated being that guy on this ride for sure. 
um, we actually weren't far from home on, on top of that. So it wasn't too bad, but uh, David was cool. And of course, Ryan's cool. And we did like this like sandwich type deal. So we had Ryan in the front, uh, David in the back. Um, so he was just dipping back, you know, as fast as I can go. And then Ryan was leading the way. So it made it not so bad and as embarrassing riding all the way back home in like 35 miles an hour. And if you looked at my um, speedometer there, you can see that it reads like 70 or something crazy like that. But uh, I, of course, am not going that fast at all. It's something more like 30, maybe 40, probably like 35 actually. But you can even see it there just climbing and climbing and climbing. And I think at some point uh, in the other little clip, you see it reach like 70. It does not do that. It goes so slow and people didn't get too pissed because we were kind of spread out and i would say like the worst part about it is people probably see it and they go uh you know they're gonna think that rikers only go so fast you know like uh someone's gonna say you know i was thinking about getting a canon riker and it's like oh i've seen those on the road they only were like 40 miles an hour i saw like three of them yeah I and mean, they couldn't even go the speed limit or whatever i'll talk more about it in the next video in my experience with uh the issue um, thanks for watching. Remember, we're we're getting close to 2,000 subs, and on July 6th, it's the mouse's first birthday. So I'm going to be super stoked if we can hit the 2,000 uh, subscribers by that point. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.